Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to make the Italian version of a grilled cheese sandwich. It's called mozzarella and carrozza, except this is shallow fried and not grilled, but neither is a grilled cheese sandwich, so we're good. Sh <laughs> That's deep. All right, the first thing, grab yourself a decent loaf of bread and make sure it's a day or two old. That way the, the bread's a little drier and it soaks up more of that good stuff when we make our sandwich. For our sandwich, I want these slices of bread to be about a half an inch thick. There. So, good? Nice. So I've got my bread cut. I need a bowl and I'm gonna crack some eggs into this bowl. Three or four should do. Okay, that's four. Then we're gonna whisk them up just until the, uh, the whites and the yolks are, are homogenous and totally combined. You know, like you would with scrambled eggs. That looks good. Whoops, I forgot to season the egg wash here. So a little, little cracked black pepper and some kosher salt. And then just another, <laughs> another quick whisk just to incorporate. Yeah, there. Now we need to set up a two-stage breading station. I've got a pan here to capture my bread and we need some, some flour over here. Yeah, this looks good. For flour, I am using an instant flour called Wondra. Uh, this is gonna give me a crispier uh, crust on my sandwich when I go to fry it. If you have AP, that'll do just fine. If you can find Wondra, pick some up though, it comes in handy. So I'm gonna grab a piece of bread and I'm gonna dip it in just the outside in the Wondra. I'm just gonna get a coating like that. That's good. What the flour does is it provides a little bit of a barrier between the bread and the grease, and it gives you a nice crispy crust. Now I'm gonna go into the egg, okay? It's kind of a small bowl to do this. We're just gonna get the outside of the bread here, just like so. Traditional recipes call for you to soak the entire piece, but the outside's good for me. There we go. Again, back into the egg. Now, if you had a wider pan, you could just maybe build the whole sandwich and then dip it in the egg if you wanted to. That's another option, but I'm gonna go this route. There we go. We're done with the flour and the egg, so let's just move these bowls out of the way, shall we? And it's time to talk some cheese. I'm using buffalo milk mozzarella. It's richer, creamier, more delicate than fresh mozz, or typical fresh mozz, okay? And this is what is traditionally used in a mozzarella and carrozza. Feared a lot as well, that's another option for you. You can use fresh mozzarella, no problem there at all. Just whatever you use, make sure you drain the water out or take the balls of cheese out of the water and pat them dry really well before you, you build your sandwich, okay? I have some fresh buffalo milk mozz here that's been out of the liquid for a little while, and I'm just gonna cut him into pieces. Wow, he's so delicate. <laughs> and if I need a little bit more for my sandwich, I've got another ball that I've left sitting out and I'll just cut into that one too. Perfect. I'm just gonna spread the cheese out on my sandwich, just like so. God, this stuff is so creamy. Holy crap. I cannot wait to dig into the sandwich. All right, there we go. Now this sandwich would be delicious on its own. It's nice and creamy. It's got a lot of rich flavor going on. Your kids would love it. But I don't know if it's my American palate, but I want a little something more here. I think I'm gonna make a chopped olive salad with a little bit of roasted red pepper, maybe some basil in there. Hang tight. All right, this looks pretty good, pretty yummy. Put this directly on the buffalo mozzarella. Just like this. Just a little bit more on the end here. Bingo. Let's just hit it with a teeny bit more salt, teeny bit, and another grind of black pepper. Beautiful. The last thing we gotta do is just place this piece of bread on top and we're ready to fry it up. Now, if you don't have olives and peppers and stuff on hand, 
you know, a little prosciutto or a cooked ham or even some pesto, like a sun-dried tomato pesto or a basil pesto, would go great on the inside of the sandwich. Or you can keep it super traditional and just go with cheese. Anyways, we're gonna take this over to the oven and we're gonna fry it up. All right, guys, I have a neutral flavored oil here at 325 degrees Fahrenheit or 160 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna grab my sandwich. Gotta be careful here, you don't wanna burn yourself. So just gently rest it in the oil, just like that. All right, using two spatulas now, just because I want to be super careful about flipping. There we go. Wow, that looks beautiful. All right, time's up. I'm gonna rest it on a baking tray here, just so it's not sitting in its own grease. Just gonna let it rest for a minute and then we'll cut into it. All right, guys. Been a few minutes. Sandwich is looking great. Mozzarella and carrozza. Let's break it open and check out the inside because that's kind of really the best part. One note about this particular sandwich, I left the crust on, okay? Traditionally, the crust is cut off of the sandwich, but I don't know, man, it's like one of the best parts, especially with the, the fried cheese and everything right here. It's like, man, that, that's just, that's money. <laughs> Anyways, let's cut this thing open and take a look inside. Moment of truth. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I gotta take a bite. I'm gonna burn my face off. <laughs> mm. Wow. That's impressive. That's, that's really, oh my God, this is delicious. <laughs> How you fell. <laughs> but delicious. Oh my God, I think it just burned my throat. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about this recipe. <laughs> um, uh, I'm burning my throat. Uh, yeah, Tim out. I gotta go get some cold water. Bye.